Hey what is up everyone I hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have midpoints of plates of a parallel plate capacitor are connected with the help of a light spring of stiffness k relaxed length l made of an insulating material each plate has an area a and a mass m one of the plates of the capacitor is given a charge plus q and other a charge minus q and then the capacitor is allowed to discharge through a resistance r find the expressions for total heat developed in the resistance under the following conditions resistance r is very high and the second condition is resistance r is very small so let us first see what happens before the switch is turned on q charge is here minus q charge is here so this plate will try to pull this plate with some force okay let that be f e and of course the spring will push the same plate with some force that would be k times the extension so let us consider that d is the separation of the plates right now so the extension is natural length minus d because the spring is compressed to a new length d which is also the separation between these two plates okay now when the switch is turned on these charges will try to flow through this resistance hence it will result in heat dissipation so we have two conditions in our hand when r is very high and r is very small so let us analyze what happens when r is very high okay so when r is very large that is r tends to infinite the capacitor discharges very slowly due to very high time constant okay it would be so slow that uh, the plates won't gain any kinetic energy fine okay so the whole potential energy that is the electrostatic potential energy and the spring potential energy will be lost as heat fine uh, so the spring will elongate very slowly to its natural length so the initial spring potential energy and the uh, electrostatic energy that was stored within the capacitor will be totally lost across the resistance so the heat that so the, so the energy that was present inside the capacitor was q square by 2c and uh, the energy stored inside the spring would be half k extension ex sorry compression of the spring square okay so as i have said earlier q minus q so the force with which this plate will pull this plate would be fe and fe we know would be q square by 2a epsilon not because the field created by this plate on this plate is q by a, 2a epsilon not so the force will be q times this one so this is the force of attraction between the two plates that is balanced by the force due to the spring that is k times the compression l minus d because l is the natural length and d is the final length so l minus d is the compression so energy stored inside the capacitor plus energy stored inside the spring fine so l minus d square we get l minus d from here that would be q square by 2a epsilon not k just put the value here and we have the value of d we'll also get that from here we'll just replace it here so simplifying this one we get the heat loss in the first case equal to this okay you can just do the simple calculation okay in the second case when r is very small that is r tends to 0 just after turning on the switch the capacitor discharges through the resistance due to very small time constant it discharges instantly hence giving no time to the spring to relax okay that means the in just you turn on the switch the length of the spring remains same that is d okay and at a very small amount of time the whole capacitor whole energy of the capacitor discharges through the resistance okay so basically the here the heat loss will be nothing but the energy that was stored inside the capacitor fine and the potential energy that was stored inside uh, the spring would be totally transferred to both the two plates fine both these two plates hence they, these two plates will gain some kinetic energy and eventually they will perform a simple harmonic motion okay so in the second case the total energy 
that has been dissipated across the resistance is nothing but the energy of the capacitor okay because after that there will be no charge and there will be no pulling force between the two plates so the two plates will perform a shm so the heat loss is q square by 2c so q square by 2 epsilon naught a by d similarly we will use the value of d because this is the same expression in the uh, first case just as the first case so just take the value of d from here and put it here you will get the expression for the heat loss when r is negligibly small okay so this was a pretty easy question i hope you have enjoyed the video if you are new to this channel please do subscribe if you like the video give a thumbs up share it with your friends and teachers and i'll see you in the next one peace